Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. The Literature Club is full of cute girls, will you write the way into their heart? This game is not suitable for children of those who are easily disturbed. Okay, well that just kind of took a turn for some, I had no idea. Anyways, I'm excited, let's do it guys. Enter your name. We got a girl. Oh, it's Kev Gooey. All right. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I overslept again. Aw. I thought there was full audio. Oh well. Would I call you this time? Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Hey, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Cav Dewey. Well, if he will stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think you wear a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean if, even if you want to. Whatever you say, sorry. Hee hee hee. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Kagui, have you decided on a club to join yet? The club? Oh no, I mean... The Leisure Club? I mean, uh, Go Home Club. I like that club. I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. And that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry he likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Ah, the life. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. Oh? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. A neat? You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! I didn't let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Huh. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Daria wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Good choice. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Oh. I think I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. 
Then she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club she inherited the title of vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Atsuki made cupcakes, cupcakes and everything. Hee hee hee. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayuri is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I let us long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! Okay. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayuri across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayuri, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member! Eh, glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club, it's a pleasure meeting you! Who are you? Sayuri always says nice things about you. Ooh! Seriously, you brought a boy? Huh. Way to kill the atmosphere! Ah, Kevgui, what a nice surprise! Who are you? Who are these people? Welcome to the club! All words that escape me in this situation! This club is all girls! It's full of incredibly cute girls! Alright! What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it! The sorry. Natsuki! Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Yuri? They don't say things like that. Oh, look at her, she's just, oh. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayuri and Natsuki. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Kabgooey. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little. You too, Monica. Come sit down, Kevgui. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Like, I, like... I feel like everyone in like, you know, you know, school here in Japan just like has tea somewhere, like just makes tea somewhere in, in the classroom. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayuri mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayuri. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. You mean the one in the back? Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts a foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So kawaii! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Hee hee hee, well you know. Just hurry and take one. Sari grabs one first and Monica, I follow. It's delicious. Sari talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. Can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. She's waiting for me to take a bite. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. But why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. 
Eh? I thought you technically did. Sorry, you said. Well, maybe. But not for you. You. you no, you. Baka. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Ah, sounds like it's something, you know, anime related. I don't know, maybe. Hmm. Yuri turns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I thought she would say bake, like, you know, for the cupcakes. I... I guess. Hee hee hee, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, but that's not... Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. So make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ha ha ha, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like this festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really gr grow this club before we graduate. Right everyone? Yeah! We do our best. You know it. Yeah. All oh, these are the girls. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Kevin, what kinds of things do you like to read? Uh, uh, well, uh, uh manga, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, hentai, uh, um, I, I mean, no, not the last one. Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. <laughs> I'm utter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. And not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking about after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I've walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ooh. I read a horror book once. It was a pop-up book. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with The Rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected a Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. The real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, even if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... 
Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. Oh. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wha what? What gives you the idea? Left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looks like you're working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and Give That Back. Fine, fine. Hee hee hee, your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sorry, sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, yeah, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No, no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Eh. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Woo! And I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm actually very confused. First of all, very confused as to the disturbing elements of this game. I don't know how that would uh, would mean for this game, but uh, woo! I'm excited though. Hope you guys are hard too. Ooh! And you guys can definitely check this game out for yourself. The link is down below in the descriptions. And the price is zero. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode. And you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye.